I've never understood how whenever someone orders a seafood dish and the plate comes out, the first thing that they ask for is salt. I mean, fish live in the ocean, don't, doesn't, don't they? The ocean is full of salt. Yet there's something about seasoning that makes a dish just perfect and you just want to eat it up. Well, Jesus describes that's how we are supposed to be as Christians in Matthew chapter 5. He says to us, you are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Then he says that you are supposed to be lights in this world, shining for the whole world to see. Verse 16, he challenges us, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. God's hope for his followers is that we bring flavor and light to this world, that people would wake up and see him and experience what life with God can truly be, full of flavor, light, and life. Now, have you ever heard of the salt threshold? You know when, when someone oversalts something so much that it almost becomes inedible? Years ago, our life group was preparing a meal and we were, we were making homemade chips and salsa. And someone, I can't say who it was. Okay, it was my wife, but don't tell her, okay? She loves salt. And she just kept adding more and more and more salt. And, and one of the, my friends, he looked at me and he gave me that look and it says, something bad is about to happen and we can't do anything about it. And before long, we had gone over that salt threshold. There are times when Christians can go over that salt threshold as well. When we try to impress each other with our church talk so we sound spiritual. Our goal should not to be impress, uh, to impress others, but to point them to Jesus. We must be careful as we straddle that perfect balance of seasoning without overdoing it in our faith. Today, may you live a life of flavor that comes from God. May others see something shining through your life so bright that they can't help but ask why you're so full of life. And then you can joyfully tell them, well, it's because of Jesus. <laughs>